Have you ever pondered how a tiny virus can transform a normal cell into a cancerous one? This enigma, known as viral oncogenesis, is a puzzle that scientists across the globe are striving to piece together. It's a complex process, a dance of molecular mechanisms that can forever alter a cell's destiny. Chronic inflammation, disruption of genetic and epigenetic integrity, interference with DNA repair mechanisms and cell cycle dysregulation, all these elements play a part in the terrifying transformation. Viruses, even with their minuscule size, can cause genetic abnormalities, activate cellular signaling pathways, and destabilize tumor suppressor proteins. The consequences? The emergence of cancer stem cells, the harbingers of disease initiation, progression, metastasis, and even resistance to chemotherapy. It's a topic of immense importance, a subject that commands intense research efforts. By understanding viral oncogenesis, we may ultimately unlock new pathways to cancer prevention and treatment. Now prepare to dive into the intricate world of viral oncogenesis. To understand cancer caused by viruses, we must first unravel the complex mechanisms of viral oncogenesis. Imagine a peaceful town suddenly thrown into chaos by an invader. The invader may not have the firepower to destroy the town, but it knows how to manipulate the town's systems to its advantage. This is akin to how viruses can induce cancer in host cells. Firstly, the virus can induce chronic inflammation. This is like the invader causing constant unrest in the town, weakening its defenses and creating an environment ripe for rebellion. The persistent inflammation damages cells and tissues, setting the stage for cancerous changes. Next, the virus can disrupt the host's genetic and epigenetic integrity. Like a hacker infiltrating the town's mainframe, the virus alters the cell's genetic code and disrupts the balance of gene expression. This can result in abnormal cell growth and division, the hallmark of cancer. The virus can also interfere with the cellular DNA repair mechanisms. These mechanisms are akin to the town's repair crew, fixing any damages that occur. However, when the virus sabotages these mechanisms, DNA damage accumulates, leading to genetic mutations that can trigger cancer. Furthermore, the virus can dysregulate the cell cycle. Like a conductor losing control of an orchestra, the cell loses control of its growth and division. The cell may multiply uncontrollably or fail to die when it should, both scenarios leading to the formation of a tumor. In some cases, oncogenic DNA viruses can insert their genomic DNA into cellular chromosomes. This is like the invader planting its flag in the town's center, marking it as its territory. The insertion can disrupt the normal function of genes and lead to cancer. These are just some of the mechanisms through which viruses can induce cancer. Each of them involves the virus manipulating the cell systems to create an environment conducive to cancer development. It's a complex process, but understanding these mechanisms is crucial for developing effective treatments. With these mechanisms at play, a once healthy cell can become a breeding ground for cancer. One of the key players in viral oncogenesis is what we call viral oncoproteins. These oncoproteins have a unique role in the orchestra of cancer formation. They're like the conductors, subtly influencing the behavior of the cellular ensemble. Now, you might wonder, what exactly do these oncoproteins do? To put it simply, oncoproteins are like covert agents, infiltrating our cells and meddling with the normal processes. Their primary mission? to activate cellular signaling pathways. These pathways are like the communication highways of our cells, sending messages and instructions for various functions. When oncoproteins activate these pathways, they can influence the cell to grow and divide in ways that it shouldn't. But that's not all. These viral oncoproteins also meddle with the expression of cellular genes and microRNAs. They can either boost or mute the expression of genes and this transcriptional or post-transcriptional meddling can lead to abnormal cell behavior. And there's one more trick up the sleeve of these oncoproteins. They have the ability to destabilize or inactivate tumor suppressor proteins. Now, these proteins are like the guardians of our cells, working to prevent the formation of tumors. 
When they are destabilized or inactivated, it's akin to taking the guards off duty, allowing the cells to grow uncontrollably and potentially form tumors. In essence, these oncoproteins are quite the saboteurs, disrupting the normal functioning of our cells. They alter the cellular environment, activating signaling pathways, altering gene expression, and knocking out our tumor suppressors. These actions might seem small on their own, but together, they can significantly alter the behavior of a cell. They can push a cell towards a malignant state, setting the stage for cancer. As we delve deeper into the world of viral oncogenesis, it's clear that these viral oncoproteins play a pivotal role. They are key actors in a complex and destructive process, and understanding their actions could be crucial in our fight against cancer. The actions of these oncoproteins can significantly alter the behavior of a cell, pushing it towards a malignant state. The alterations brought about by the virus can lead to the emergence of a particularly troublesome cell type, the cancer stem cell. The unruly nature of oncogenic viruses can induce genetic and epigenetic modifications, thereby creating a fertile ground for the birth and proliferation of cancer stem cells. These cells aren't your run-of-the-mill miscreants. They are the key players in the dark game of cancer, pulling the strings of initiation, progression, and metastasis. They laugh in the face of relapse and don't bat an eyelid at chemotherapy resistance. They are the puppet masters, the conductors of the grim orchestra, orchestrating the twisted symphony of disease. But why do they hold such power? The answer lies in their ability to self-renew and differentiate into various cell types, a sinister talent that allows them to rebuild the tumor, even after therapy has reduced it to ashes. The rise of cancer stem cells marks a critical step in the journey from infection to cancer. The battle against viral oncogenesis is far from over. Researchers around the globe are tirelessly working to dive deeper into the understanding of this complex process. The focus is on identifying the specific cellular genes and signaling pathways that play a part in viral oncogenesis. By dissecting these intricate pathways, it's hoped that we can reveal the hidden secrets of how viruses transform normal cells into cancerous ones. This isn't a small task, as the molecular mechanisms of viral oncogenesis are as complex as they are diverse. But with every experiment conducted, every sample analyzed and every hypothesis tested, we inch closer to the truth. This continued study is not just crucial, it's imperative. It's the key to developing more effective treatments for viral-induced cancers. With every new discovery, we move one step closer to unraveling the mystery of viral oncogenesis and ultimately to finding more effective treatments for viral-induced cancers.